Good evening now. Thanks for being with us. I'm J.R. Perry. And I'm Darcy Strickland. We begin tonight with the coronavirus pandemic as Governor Henry McMaster is asking all local leaders across the state to issue and enforce mask ordinances. News 19's Alicia Niaves was at that press conference today and she tells us more about what the governor had to say. Alicia. Governor McMaster says he will not issue a mask mandate on the state level because he says that doesn't need to be done. He says it should be in the hands of city and county leaders because one size does not fit all. So he announced that today, just urging all of them to put a mask or face covering mandate in place. Additionally, he says effective Monday, August 3rd, all South Carolina restaurants will be required by law to follow regulations laid out by Accelerate SC. So what are these regulations? These restaurants must limit dine-in customers at 50% occupancy. They must have their patrons wear a mask. They have to have all tables inside the restaurant set six feet apart, and there can't be any more than eight people to a table unless those people are within the same you know, immediate family. He says, if these rules are broken by the restaurants, these restaurants could face a misdemeanor, so that could be a fine or even jail time. And by the way, the 11 o'clock sale, uh, uh, prohibited, pro, uh, they aren't allowed to sell alcohol after 11 p.m. He says that rule is also still in place. But what must follow similar rules to these restaurants is the large scale venues. For example, venues that put on a sporting event, venues that put on concerts, they can only allow a certain amount of people inside and they if they wish to you know put on a football game if they wish to put on a concert they have to send that plan to the department of commerce if approved then we might be able to play ball another thing mentioned in today's press conference by state epidemiologist dr linda bell she says the cdc has released new guidelines for covid 19 patients in isolation the cdc recently updated their guidance and individuals who were previously recommended to get a negative test to be released from isolation may now be released based on recovery of symptoms. So instead of being tested repeatedly until an individual gets a negative test result, if they've previously tested positive, a person may be released from isolation when they meet three criteria. At least 10 days has passed since symptoms onset and at least 24 hours being fever free without the use of a medication that reduces fever and that other symptoms have improved. So with all of this being said, Governor McMaster says he will not shut down South Carolina again. Do also want to mention we asked him about the current situation for PPE in South Carolina. Do we have enough for the amount of patients we're seeing in the hospitals for all of the hospital workers? and for all of the students and teachers, faculty and staff, if he is still urging, which he is, in-person instruction. He says PPE looks good for now. We did get to kind of the, the, the brim at one point, but he says situation is okay. In fact, he says they are ordering new COVID-19 testing machines to get test results back in a matter of minutes. We'll of course keep you updated as soon as we learn more. We're live outside Emergency Management Headquarters. Alicia Niaves, News 19, WLTX. Alicia, thank you.